uh, so sir, do you believe that the service chief chiefs have over? I don't want to get into that. That's not important. It's hmm. strategy. I don't want to get into personal political issues. That, that, that doesn't concern me. But that is, if, if you like, bring new service chiefs. Hmm. What is the strategy? That's hmm. the key question. We dwell too much on personal issues. I don't, they could stay there for 10 years. Mm. If they are successful, who will complain? Nobody. So it's the strategy, my friend. Mm. The strategy is the problem. If the strategy is right, then that if they are there 10 years, people will say, well, they are doing well. So the, the less important question is how long they've stayed. Mm. New guys can come, apply the same, old, the same um, principles mm. without success. Mm. So I, I would urge the government to look at the context of what we're doing, irregular warfare, and there are books that can be read. I'm surprised mm -hmm. with all the military doctrine that they teach in um, in, uh, in, in, uh, in the NDA. It's it's so simple. The late Brigadier General Dekunle knew about this that irregular warfare needs a, a particular kind of tactics, mm -hmm. and the books to read are there. I just mentioned Mao Zedong. I, me I mentioned uh, Che Guevara. These are people that they can, you know, easily look up and then deploy their doctrines to what's going on. Mm. And that's why America lost. America lost Vietnam because they fought a regular war against the Viet Cong, mm. who fought an irregular war. And, it, and uh, Ho Chi Minh, who was the leader of the irregular war, understood that no matter the number of bombings you did in Vietnam or Laos or Cambodia, as ordered by Henry Kissinger, nothing will work. Eventually, the Americans will drill. Mm. So we will not win this war unless we go irregular. Mm. Yeah, so talking about judiciary now, sir. Yes. We are just having a new year. Going to play for.